I hope that all of you are putting in conscious efforts that is needed to upskill yourself. Today, I want to let you all know about the right way to go about learning anything, any skill you want to adopt. Stay tuned till the end of this video. It's going to be pretty concise one. But you are going to get great pointers till the end of this video. And share this video with your friends and siblings because you never know what can benefit someone. And today's video is relations and this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. In this video, we are going to discuss the definitions of an equivalence relations, congruences. And the most important theorem that is the relation congruence modulo M over the set of the positive integers is an equivalence relation. And let me explain you what is an equivalence relation. See here. The equivalence relation is nothing but the relation R on a set X is said to be an equivalence relation if it is, first thing is, if it is reflexive. The first thing is if it is reflexive. So, what is reflexive here? Reflexive means if X is related to X, for every X belongs to X. See here, if X is straight away related to X, then we say that the relation is reflexive. See, I have made a video and I have done a video on equivalence relations. Please have a look at those and it is uh, already uploaded in the playlist. And the next one is the symmetric relation. So, when we say that the relation is symmetric, see here, if X is related to Y, then Y is related to X. Then we say that the relation is a symmetric. And next one, transitive. So, if X is related to Y and continuation part, Y is related to Z and see here, then this X is related to z then we say that the relation r is transitive see here if all the three properties holds that is reflexive symmetric and transitive holds then that relation is called an equivalence relation clear so equivalence relation is very clear that if it holds all the three properties which is reflexive symmetric and transitive and, and next one is congruence so what is this congruence definition so let m be a fixed positive integer so m is a positive integer and a comma b belongs to z so these are also positive integers then we say that a is said to be congruent to b so a is said to be congruent to b modulo m if m divides a minus b see here if m divides a minus b we say that a is congruent to b mod m so a is congruent to b is denoted by a congruence b mod m so this is the symbol so which you have to learn so this congruence relation this congruence modulo m over a set of positive integers is an equivalence relation so in order to show that it's an equivalence relation we have to prove the three properties here that is reflexive symmetric and transitive and let's get started with the most important theorem after learning the definitions of equivalence relations and the congruence see here the theorem here is the relations congruence modulo m over a set of positive integers is an equivalence relation clear is an equivalence relation so as you know that the congruence modulo m is nothing but if m divides a minus b then we say that a is congruent to b mod m so what is an equivalence relation equivalence relation means if r relation satisfies all the three properties one is reflexive symmetric and transitive then we say that it's an equivalence relation first we have to take a congruence relation and we have to show that relation has three properties and therefore that relation congruence modulo m is an equivalence relation so that is the process which i'm going to take here so this is the proof in the proof we show that the relation r is equal to the ordered pair what is a relation collection of ordered pairs that is a comma b such that a is congruent to see here b mod m is reflexive we have to show that it's reflexive symmetric and again transitive so three properties we have to show the first thing is so from this r set relation set so we have to take that a comma a belongs to r then we say that it's a reflexive property so here i am taking let see here the ordered pair a comma a belongs to r i am taking a comma a belongs to r and clearly any number m divides zero so, I can write this as m divides a minus a. a minus a is nothing but 0. So, here if m divides a minus b, see here according to the congruence definition, what I have said you. So, according to the congruence def definition, if m divides a minus b, then we say that a is said to be congruent to b. From this definition of the congruence, if 
M divides here A minus A, B say that A is congruent to this is, sorry, here A. So, A divides A modulo M, clear? So, A is congruent to A mod M. So, here, if A is congruent to A mod M, then we clearly say that A comma A belongs to R and therefore R is reflexive. See here, it's a reflexive property. So, first of all, we have to take m divides 0. So, m divides a minus a. And here, if m divides a minus b, we, we are going to write as a congruent to b mod m. Here, we are going to write as a congruent to a mod m. And see, therefore, a comma a belongs to R. And therefore, R is a reflexive property. And next one, symmetric property. So, in the symmetric property, just we have to take, let a comma b belongs to the relation r so from the set r if a comma b belongs to this set so a is congruent to b mod m so clearly i'm writing this as a is congruent to b mod m so according to the congruence relation we can clearly say that m divides a minus b and clearly if i take minus common this is b minus a therefore m divides this is b minus a and clearly when m divides b minus a, we can write this as b is congruent to, this is a mod m. So, this is b is congruent to a mod m. So, if b is congruent to a mod m, so we can write b comma a belongs to r. So, from the relationship, from the relation r. So, after taking a comma b belongs to r, we got b comma a belongs to r and therefore r is symmetric. Therefore, r is symmetric. Clear. And next one we have to show that it's a transitive property. So for the transitive property we have to take two relations here. See let A comma B belongs to R and the continuation part. So B comma C also belongs to R and we have to show that sorry A comma C belongs to R. If A comma B belongs to R what is the condition here? So A is congruent to this is B mod M. So, if B comma C belongs to R, so in this relation, if any ordered pair exists, this will be in this form that is A congruent to B mod M. Here, this will be B congruent to here, this is a C mod M. Clear? So, according to the congruence relation, the definition M divides the difference here that is A minus B. Here, M divides the difference here, this is B minus C. Clear? If you add up these two, then M divides A minus B plus so, this is B minus C. Addition also, it divides. So, if I cancel these two, then clearly M divides A minus C. If M divides A minus C, this can be written as A is congruent to, this is a C mod M. So, clearly, see here, if A is congruent to C mod M, then A comma C belongs to R. Therefore, we got A comma C belongs to the relation R. So, clearly, if I take A comma B belongs to R, B comma C belongs to R, then A comma C, this is belongs to R. See here, A comma B belongs to R, B comma C belongs to R and therefore A comma C belongs to, belongs to R and therefore R is transitive. Therefore R is transitive. From all the three conditions, if R is symmetric, if R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, we see that. See here, the first thing here is, so R is a reflexive property. R is a symmetric property. And the next one, R is transitive. Then we see that R, the relation R is an equivalence relation. So it's an equivalence relation. So what is set R? Set R is nothing but the congruence modulo M. Hence, the congruence modulo M, hence, congruence modulo M is an equivalence relation. Congruence modulo M is an equivalence relation. So, this is how we have to show that. So, this is also so easy. If you see here, the first of all, we have to create this relation like this as the ordered pair A comma B such that A is congruent to B mod M. So, we have to show it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. First in the reflexive set. So, I have taken M divides 0. So, M divides A minus A and this can be written as A is congruent to this is A modulo M. 
so here a comma a belongs to r and r is a reflexive property and next one let a comma b belongs to r so this can be written as a is congruent to b mod m so we can write according to the definition of congruence m divides a minus b and therefore m divides minus of b minus a and clearly m divides b minus a and therefore b is congruent to a mod m so clearly b ordered pair b comma a belongs to r and r is a symmetric property and next one coming to transitive property if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r and according to the definitions a is congruent to b mod m and b is congruent to c mod m so clearly m divides a minus b and m divides b minus c if you add up these two a minus b plus b minus c so here what remains here a minus c and this can be written as a is congruent to c mod m so if a comma b belongs to r and the continuation part b comma c belongs to r then we can show that a comma c belongs to r which is a transitive property and therefore after holding reflexive symmetric and transitive we see that r is an equivalence relation and hence what is r here the congruence modulo m is an equivalence relation this is how we have to solve and this is how we have to prove and if you really like this video please pass it on to your friends siblings and whomever you like the most and go to the playlist and so many videos are uploaded and so many topics are uploaded and please avail those and your preparation will be damn easy thank you so much for watching and staying till the end